let's select repository and we're going to be using remix with spa we're going to use branch main i'm going to click next in the build and test settings i'm going to click edit and our base directory will be build slash client we're going to click on the advanced settings click uh, package version override click on node.js and we're going to put the version 20. by default it's a little bit outdated version 14. we're going to click next and then save and deploy hello guys in this video we will deploy your spot to aws in the previous video we created a single page application using remix with and tailwind it would be nice to deploy this app to aws cloud for the whole world to see it when you deploy a single page application on AWS, you need to configure the following things. S3 bucket to serve uh, as a static website, CloudFront distribution to act as a CDN and serve files from the bucket, Route 53 and certificate manager for domain and certificate, deploy pipeline with a code build to get the application from GitHub and automatically deploy it. And on top of that, you will need to remember to name your S3 bucket the same as your website to configure a certificate in US East One Zone and to invalidate cache when deploying your SPA. Fortunately, AWS Amplify removes this complexity, so let's take a look at how to deploy the SPA to AWS using Amplify. I'm in AWS Console in AWS Amplify. Let's click Get Started and we want to select Amplify Hosting. We're going to select GitHub and click Continue. And as you can see, my GitHub is already connected to AWS Amplify. If uh, you're doing it the first time, it's going to prompt you to connect and uh, the process is really easy. So you should be able to connect without any problems. So we're going to select repository and I'm going to choose Remix with Spa and the branch. I will keep it as main. I'm going to click next. Now in build and test settings, I'm going to click edit and the base directory instead of dist i'm gonna put build slash client that's where assets are put you know in remix with spa however you know if you're building spa with a uh, other tools you know you base directory maybe build or dist and now we're gonna click on the advanced settings and right here we're gonna put environment variables right so we want to test that and we're gonna put vid site name and we're going to call it my amplified spa and you can add more variables we're also going to click on add package version override and in node.js version we're going to put version 20 because by default it's a little bit outdated it's 14 right now we're going to click next and we're going to click save and deploy application going to start provisioning building and deploying and our build failed well don't expect everything to work from the first time right okay so let's uh, take a look right here so you can click on the build right and can see what happened here you know cloning repository you can check out the logs you know back end you're not gonna have any in the front end right it gave us some kind of lib no js stuff right so the way we're gonna fix it we're gonna go into build settings and now we're gonna have the image settings right at first we didn't get it but you know now we can choose uh the build image right and instead of amazon linux 2 default we're gonna choose amazon linux 2023 so we're gonna go select that and click save also while we are in the build settings let's create webhook all right we're gonna click on create webhook in incoming webhook section and we can just leave everything the same you know the name will be trigger main and we are in a main branch so we can click save and what this webhook will do for us when we push or create a pr in the main branch it will trigger the build automatically for us so it's going to be our pretty much code deploy pipeline now in order to restart the build we're going to go to remix with spa and our apps we're going to click again on the build icon right here and we're going to click redeploy this version and AWS Amplify is going to redeploy it for us. So let me pause the video again and we'll wait while it's redeploying. And this time our deploy succeeded. Yay. All right, cool. We can click here on the domain. It gives us the link. So click here and we can see we have our single page application deployed on AWS. And we even have the title My Amplified Spa. 
So if we can click on other pages, right, we can make sure they work as well. All right, so now we're going to check if our hook is working and our single page application can be deployed automatically when we push to the main branch or create a PR. Let's change the text get started on this button to go to dashboard. Let's go to Visual Studio Code Remix VSpa project. Let's go ahead into our files and in the routes in underscore index folder, we're going to click on the route.csx and we have get started button right over here. So let's go ahead and change it, go to dashboard. Let's save changes and we're going to open the terminal and we do git add git commit dash m updated button text. And we will push our changes to the main branch. Okay, the branches are in a GitHub. They got pushed. And if we switch to AWS Amplify, we can see that our application already provisioned and started building. Let me pause the video for a little bit to wait till it's done building and deploying. All right, deploy has finished. So again, let's click on the link. And now we can see that the button says go to dashboard. Our changes got automatically deployed. That's great. AWS Amplify made our life so much easier. One thing that you may notice is that our website or single page application on the cloud has um, Amplify generic domain. So let's go ahead into Amplify console and connect our own domain. So we can go to domain management. And right over here, we're going to click on add domain. So actually, I have already set up domain in Route 53. I have this hosted zone, and this domain is called remix-spa.myapi.website. So let's go to AWS Amplify, go to our app, and again, click on Domain Management and click Add Domain. Right? And here, if we click on it, you can either enter your own domain, or if you configured it in AWS, you can just click on it right here. Then we're going to click Configure Domain, and right over here is going to have a subdomains. So the, the first one, it says Remix uh, Spa My API website, which is a correct domain. So we're going to um, use the main branch for it. For here, we're not going to use dub, dub, dub. In case you have a naked domain, sometimes it's beneficial to have um, dub, dub, dub prefix to it. In our case, we're not going to be using dub, dub, dub in front of our domain. So we're going to remove that. But if you are, so a good thing to do is to redirect from your naked domain into dub, dub, dub domain and AWS Amplify allows you for that. But since we're not doing that, we're going to uncheck this as well. And we are going to go ahead and click save. And AWS Amplify is going to start configuring SSL for your domain and then activate domain automatically, which is really nice. You don't have to worry about certificate management. This may take a little while. So, but you know, when everything's said and done, you're going to be able to use your domain to access your uh, single page application. This is how you can use AWS Amplify to deploy your spa to the cloud, automate your CI CD and connect your domain and get certificate automatically issued. If you would like to see how we created single page application we just deployed, please check out this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.